Stiletto networks are groups of 10 women mostly, meeting in dinner groups and salons and networking circles all across the U.S. I've found these groups in every major American city and globally too, and a lot of them have funny names. They are the Babes in Boyland and the Chicks in Charge and the Vault and Forced to Be as in Reckoned With. But I've found these groups of women in every major industry, in every age group, from aspiring millennials to CEOs to moms launching businesses in their basements. A lot of these groups are cross-industry, and even the groups of the young aspiring millennials, without realizing they are mirroring their corporate elders, they've been doing the same thing. They've been sharing information and resources and really being each other's strategic advisors. But what that means is even today, big companies strive for global wide-ranging insight. And what's the best way to get global wide-ranging insight? To be tapped into, to have your closest friends in other arenas, in other industries or fields, to be able to draw on their diverse skills very easily. And that's what these women have. So what began as a negative, the search for friends outside of their industries because it was so competitive and they couldn't find them within, has evolved to be this incredible strategic advantage. What we're finding is that within companies, within industries, there's an incredible amount of innovation going on right now, and it's driven by technology. But more of innovation is happening at the junctions of those in industries. Even 10 years ago, if you worked in tech and your best friend worked in retail, you never thought you could partner and do enormous deals together. But now you see women coming together in based in true friendship who really trust each other, launching new ventures and investing in each other and driving innovation for the first time in history. When I was researching the book, I wondered why women had gotten such a bad rap in business. You know, why we were branded as backstabbers historically in the workplace. When if you look at the way that women behave in every other area of life, we're highly collaborative. It's, you know, the carpool, the PTA, I'll pick up your kid Thursday if you take mine Monday. I wondered why women hadn't brought those skills into business. And what I'm seeing now is that's exactly what they're doing for maximum impact. Women, this is a very natural, normal women, way for women to behave, and suddenly those skills are valued in the workplace. If you look at the way companies are structured today and what's valuable, it's the ability to draw insight from many different spheres, to get intelligence from many different spheres, to get partnerships when you don't have the resources to, you know, when you don't just have the money to pay. In a strong economy, it's a lot easier to sort of pretend that everything's okay. But when things get tough, I think women Women have, to, women have the skills to convince people to work harder for less by being highly collaborative. And that's what we're seeing happen. We're seeing the skills that women bring to the table naturally valued today more than ever before. At this moment in history, we have two generations coming together at the same time. Finally, in the corporate realm, there are enough women who have worked hard and made their own money and are finally willing to take risks on behalf of other women. They're thinking about legacy. They're looking at a corporate world that hasn't changed as much as they hoped when they were forefronts, uh, when they were on the forefront of feminism, and they're thinking about what they can do to fast forward that. At the same moment in history, there are all these young women, particularly aspiring millennials, who are launching their own tech-based companies. So what's happening is the older women are increasingly investing in and then spinning their platinum Rolodexes on these young women's behalf, getting other investors, other women and men who can be these young women's strategic advisors as well. And what I found is that the generation skill sets are highly complementary. The mentoring goes both ways. The women at the top bring to the table executional expertise, operational expertise, um, what we call in the U.S. adult supervision. <laughs> and the young women at the bottom bring in intelligence, moxie, and passion, and technological know-how. So these women's skills are highly complementary and they're coming together.